Hey, welcome back everyone to Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video... I swear my dog dehydrates himself all day just to drink water when I'm recording videos. I swear he does it. This video is going to be covering NCHAR. Now this data type works very similar to the char data type, so make sure you refresh on that data type. There are some key differences though. This data type is also known as the national character set data type. Whenever you see a data type with something like national in it, this is referring to Unicode. It is highly recommended you go review the videos I created over character sets and UTF-8 and UTF-16 just a few videos ago. That's because they are foundational to understanding the benefit of this column. Additionally, in order to understand why we would benefit from a data type like this, you need to understand how character sets are applied to an Oracle database. So let's say this is an Oracle database, and we have available to us multiple character sets. The thing with Oracle is that these character sets are applied at the database level. That means the entire database gets this character set. This is in contrast to other database management systems where you can often create a character set at the database level, at an individual table level. So if we had an individual table, we could say this is of a certain character set and even column levels. So we could take this individual column and say this is of a certain character set. Oracle doesn't work the same way. Oracle only has character sets available at the database level. Now there is something available to us that's similar to having a character set at the column level, but slightly different. And that is where the N data types come in. The N data types allow us to store Unicode in a column, even if the database character set is not Unicode. So let's say this is not Unicode. We are allowed to have a table within our not Unicode database that stores Unicode inside of a column but it's slightly different than actually defining a character set for this column because we're limited to just Unicode. In what situation would something like this be practical? Well, let's say we are working with a database that we know is going to work with applications that use ASCII. ASCII is a character set that uses one byte per character. It might be easier for us if everything uses ASCII, including the database. So we might set the database character set to ASCII. But what happens if it comes up where we actually want to store Unicode in our database? If we don't have this data type available to us, we're not able to do that in Oracle without changing the database character set to something like Unicode. Unicode has many more characters available to us and allows for different languages. Whereas ASCII limits us to just English. So if 99% of our database is ASCII, we might have 1% that we want to be Unicode. So in order to get this 1%, we can label the column as NCHAR. Now let's talk about the practicality of this data type. Is this a data type you should be using? That's a different subject. My goal is to introduce you to the different data types. That doesn't necessarily mean they're always useful. <laughs> now I'm not saying you should never use NCHAR, there might be a good time to use that. But in general, it's almost always recommended to have a Unicode database. And in this situation, the NCHAR data type becomes a lot less useful. Especially since in Unicode, one character can also take up one byte. That's because, as we mentioned before, Unicode is a superset of ASCII. So this here is Unicode, ASCII is right here. That means if we use ASCII characters inside of a Unicode character set, they are only going to take up one byte. So there is not an obvious benefit of making your character set ASCII. Because of that, we are not going to get into the specifics of ASCII character sets. That's because they're not very important to us. The Unicode character sets are important to us. So because of that, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about some specific Unicode character sets that you need to know about. It's not simply called Unicode or ASCII. They have fancy names that you need to know. <laughs> Of course, nothing can be simple, right? <laughs> in addition to the end part of this not being super useful because of our database character set being Unicode, a lot of people wonder whether you should use char data types at all. <laughs> yeah, you probably wish you knew that before I taught you all about them. But there is some controversy whether you should ever use char data types, and that's something we will talk about in an upcoming video. But essentially, there is not really a huge benefit in using char data types in Oracle. That's all I got for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please click like and subscribe to Caleb the Video Maker 2, and that will really help me out. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.